Hey guys, welcome. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know that I'm bagged. Absolutely bagged. Oh, I don't even remember what we're doing. It's been like two weeks since we played. And now I'm comfortable and I'm tired. I did a lot of walking today. Hot the hills through snow drifts. So in the steam room. Why are we... What's... What do we have to do? Uh, quests. At 4 p.m. So we got like... Um... Oh wait, three hours. No, four hours. Oh boy. Oh man, this is gonna be a very subdued stream. What if we wait one more hour? Hey Chauncey. Who are you? Just someone who found a matchbook. Matchbook? What about the man I gave it to? Uh, he's dead. Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Mortimer, if he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Oh boy. Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Uh-oh. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. Yeah, that sounds about accurate. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from Freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Uh, what are you supposed to discuss here? The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Oh, boy. Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back. Started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. Oh, man. Well, Ted Gunderson. He's alive. As far as I know, they're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Oh boy. Uh, where were they, where are they keeping Ted? Um, I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted. Right, so we'd have open. stealth. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. And stealth's not anything I'm good at. I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get you in. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside oh. quietly. How it won't be tell. easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks. And then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Wait, so that sounds pretty good. Um, get rid of Philippe, okay. They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. 
Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Uh, Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Oh. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Oof. I don't know, but you can bet that it'd be back. It's gone. I... Okay, bye. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? No, Chauncey. No. Uh, let's take that. Uh, no, I'll think of him. Dang, rest in peace, Chauncey. Or won't wear. Now nah, we'll leave the poor guy alone. All right. Well, what do we have for quests now? Um, oops. Okay, so we need to um, find a either a sponsor or um, some other way to get into the the Gourmand. Oh, shake the bat. Oh, excuse me, guys. Okay, so that's the members section only. Um, I don't know how we get nor ID on the strip, so let's do this. Although we're gonna save first before things go downhill. We might just need to sneak. Which I'm, uh. Can you sponsor me? Welcome to the Ultra Lux. Why, yes, of course. The it's. O Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you And it has. But then I had the idea. And the right people could certainly do one. I'm afraid you are a relative. If you had more notoriety. The end. Come. All right. Um. Okay, so we're not famous yet. Which um, hello, Killer Wolf Two Thousand. How's it going? We're not famous enough to be a member of this. Oh. Hold on. This seems like it's gonna be a bad idea. So we're gonna save again one more time, and then we're gonna try and open up this door. I hope nothing bad happens. Neat. Oh, that's good. Enjoying your last few days of 2017? Or maybe you're in, like, the ultimate timeline where, um... Every year is 2017 for you. You've been stuck in the Groundhog Day loop. Um... I have no idea what these guys are doing. They're burning beef. Pretty good. Why is there a walking tire with you? I mean, that's just Raul. <laughs> he's got the, um... He's got the walking tire. He's fine. Okay, where is the cook? You. What do you think you're doing? Uh, speech. Morris sent me to move the kid. Thinks one of his own might betray him. First, he's too trusting. Now he doesn't trust any of us. All right, this is good. Cooking people, yes. Uh, well, I don't recommend cooking people myself, but I mean, if that's something you want to do, then uh, I can't say no. I think that's actually probably illegal, but um, hey, you know, everyone's got different tastes. <laughs> Get it? Uh, different tastes. I'm not funny. Oh, wait, what? 
Oh, this leads us just downstairs. What's the point of this then? Oh, okay, actually, here you go. There's more doors. This is good. Uh, I don't think there's anything of note in here. There's another washroom. Nothing else. Oh, okay, we don't want to steal anything. That's bad. That's going to get us in trouble. We can look around, but we don't want to steal anything. Oh, that's too bad. Everything here is something that can be stolen. Oh, yes, hello. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Ooh. Who you are? Talk to me that way. Who, do, <laughs> who the fuck do you think I am? This is I'm great. the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Really? Do you like eating? Good. You owe <laughs> your entire goddamn garbage existence. That's a very bold claim. Like, how could someone think like that? Like, I invented edible food because surely, if you think about it, he's been eating food, well, since he's been born. So, like, like he's got to make the connection somewhere that he, um, whatever. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. I guess basically what he's saying is that, um, like, he just fooled himself. Like, I, for him saying that, oh, I invented edible food, that's, um, I'm thinking surely he's got to know that's a lie. I'm, a, I'm here to talk business. Interesting putting out a cookbook. Ooh. Uh... Ooh, both of these are good. He could have gone Rawls full maintenance perk. Yeah, that is true. Um, I like him wearing the Valcaro outfit though. Like he looks great as a cowboy. Uh, yeah, let's help this guy out. He needs it, I think. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. You mean for Tell me more about your parents. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Yep. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. Uh, what, <laughs> what about the banquet? 75% less weapon decay. Yes. Uh, that's really good. Good for a super Saturday night heated power fist. Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. <laughs> you will always feel empty. empty. Oh, boy. All right, goodbye, sir. We got the freezer key. Um, survival. Um, uh, hold on, let's see if we can't find the boy first. Then we'll take care of the boy. Then we'll cook the banquet. Okay, nothing in here. Yeah, that's more stealing. Here we go. Here the great cons got massacred. Oh, I do the survival one. Okay. No survivors this time, though. Okay. Well, I'll save the game because I think we're doing good work. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds Whoa, out. Whoa! Hey, him. buddy. Take it easy. My daddy sent you. God damn it. Damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Um, I don't know who did this. They are going to eat you. Let's be brutally honest. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I have no idea. I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm out of here and my daddy knows the story... You can bet oh, maybe we shouldn't have told him that because now the hotel's gonna be no done. Uh, just Mortimer, Mortimer, and a few others. Yeah, 